Arrow Season 3 continues this week with the all-new episode titled This Is Your Sword. Now, this episode actually dealt primarily with uh, Oliver trying to get come to terms with having to marry Nyssa and making his final ascension to Ra's al Ghul. Now, one of the things I found really interesting about this episode is that very early on we're f we find out that uh, Malcolm Merlin and Oliver have been working together and it's revealed that Oliver is actually himself. He's not gone to the dark side or become fully evil. It was all just an elaborate ruse to try and trick Ra's into getting into his inner circle, and I, I thought that was kind of the logical explanation. I mean, with only a few episodes left in the season, we're not going to end on the... I didn't think we were going to end on the sour note. I thought that Oliver would definitely have some type of a redemption arc. So I enjoyed that part of it, and um, also another thing I really liked about this episode was also that the flashbacks in Hong Kong finally have some type of relevance to the show. They finally are coming to a head. They're finally going to end that story arc there, and I'm glad because it felt like most of the season, the flashbacks have just kind of been like in the background. They didn't really have any relevance to what was going on uh, in present day like in past seasons like um, season one and two where they actually had a lot of relevance to what was what Oliver was going through, I guess, his struggle, his story, and I, this is, this is a point where the flashbacks actually mean something, so I was glad about that. So yeah, we go, go back to the main story, um, obviously Team Arrow has to still deal with, uh, having, not having Oliver around anymore, and there's a lot of tension going on, uh, Diggle's becoming increasingly violent against criminals, and obviously it's just him and Canary at this point, because Roy also had to leave Starling City. It's, it's just really interesting to see them having to sort of operate and overcome without Oliver around, and it was pretty interesting for their characters and the development of them. Malcolm uh, confronts them with the Tatsu, obviously from the flashback sequences, who's revealed to be Katana later on, and they all they all have to go to Nanaparabat because Malcolm tells them, hey, uh, there's some pretty big stuff happening that's going to come to Starling City, obviously the, the Alpha Omega virus, and they have to stop it, and that Oliver is in fact working with him, and it's all good, you know, Oliver is a good guy still, but they don't believe him because it's Malcolm Merlin, so they do end up going to Nanaparabat part bat and they all they all have a big fight it was actually really cool i was surprised by the special effects budget on this episode uh there's a sequence that involves the atom fighting it's a like a jump jet i think and it was actually really well done i mean it, it looked like something out of the first iron man movie uh to an extent it wasn't as good but it was pretty well done actually and that was cool uh the katana fight scene was great uh the costume looks really good apart from the mask which looked kind of iffy at points but the, as the costume as a whole it looked great very comic accurate with this episode does end with a cliffhanger as when obviously Team Arrow doesn't make it because there's like a million League of Assassins guys there and they have to go and they get caught basically. So they get caught and they're pretty much left for dead as Oliver marries Nyssa and then the episode ends right there. Boom. So we're going straight into the season finale here. Uh, a lot of big stuff is happening. I know Barry Allen's gonna come and help Oliver and Team Arrow out and there's gonna be a big fight between Roz as he goes to Starling City in this big carrier plane we can see in the promo for next week so I'm super excited. I'd give this episode a 8.5 out of 10. It was very good. I'm really hoping that they finish this season strong because that's what I really want from this season. So uh, comment below, let me know, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, hey. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed what you just saw. I don't know what exactly you just saw, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you really did like it, go check out our other stuff. You know, we have social media, Facebook, Twitter. The link should be somewhere here. Also, we have other channels, too. We have our movie video game channel. We have our music channel. And obviously, our comic book channel, too, because we know we do all that entertainment awesomeness. We also have a website. Go to our website, hybridnetworkyt.com. And check out our other videos. Uh, that's all I really have to say. It's Josh, and you know, I hope you guys enjoyed you know, what you watched.